Leaders can't control their organization. Machine learning is the new disruptive technology on the block. Here's how machine learning works. It consumes a lot of data to build a model of the underlying pattern that represents that data. Machine learning is about building different models from the data and determining the parameters of the models. Say you have data on previous marketing budgets for different channels such as social media, paper ads, TV ads, and then you have data about the sales lift as a result of the marketing. Maybe there's an underlying pattern. That pattern would be good to know to optimize spend. Then, if you want to increase your sales, you can control the inputs. The inputs are your tunable knobs, if you will. You have no control over the internals of this box. In many cases, you don't even care about how it all works. All you care about is what can you tune. In contrast, consider your company that say manufactures some products such as shoes. Then those shoes are sent out to a distribution network to have them placed in stores where customers can buy them. In this case, suppliers will provide the raw material at a time, cost, and quality that is mutually agreeable. These factors have some impact on your sales. But most likely, it is what you do within your company that increases the sales. Here are some knobs that may increase sales. Better design, happier employees, automated systems, and efficient processes. Based on your strategy, you may have many knobs inside the company that can be tuned. If you understand how to tune those knobs, then you can increase profitability. So here's a contrast. In machine learning systems, you control the input. In organizational systems, you control the internals. Many machine learning systems themselves may be part of your operations. Your organization is complex because it has not only machine learning systems, but it also has processes, people, technology, culture, intellectual property, and other assets. In many ways, the machine learning system is much simpler within the context of the organization. Here are some characteristics of machine learning systems. It can be mathematically modeled, is relatively stable, and operates within the bounds of some strict conformity, is efficient, and is mostly a black box where you don't have to understand the internals. The organizational system, on the other hand, has a lot of heuristics, can exhibit unpredictable behavior, is more complex, is usually inefficient, is mostly a white box where you need to understand how things work. Which type of machine learning system would you use in your organization? There are many categories, such as for supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Machine learning systems themselves are a subset of AI systems that include natural language processing, computer vision, deep learning, etc. You have to place the right machine learning system into the right place in your organization. Placing a machine learning system will impact other elements of the organization. Artificial intelligence and machine learning geeks will work on those systems to keep them running effectively. They can help you tune the inputs to those systems. Business and technology architects work on the organization itself to keep it running efficiently and enhance the value it produces. They can help you tune the internals of the system itself. Each of these experts help to tune different knobs. Leaders essentially have a lot of knobs they can control, but that's the problem. First, there are too many knobs and they can only make guesses as to which ones matter the most. There are many knobs that they cannot reach directly and they depend on their organization to have somebody else or a group tune those knobs. Most of these knobs don't produce an immediate output, rather the results can take time to observe. Sometimes tuning one knob automatically tunes other knobs. There's no wonder that modeling such a complex organizational system is non-trivial. That's why leaders essentially have little control of their organization. They need to lean on people to help them to understand the big picture and people to help them tune the right knobs. Thanks for watching.